interesting statement. That's quite a statement, huh, girls? Yeah. <laughs> um, I think, like, I'm really just proud of the fact they fought through it. Like, I know Liv didn't feel so great there at the end, and, um, and she just fought through the end of the game. I think the last time we played Nebraska, you know, after that game was done, we definitely got together as a team, and we're just like, we are not going to be that team anymore. And since that day, after we left Lincoln, we've just been a different group. And I'm so proud of you guys. Like, I'm so happy you have this moment because you've been playing so hard that, you know, it's all about the experience and how much you guys fought through it. So I'm really proud of you. Questions? Other than a, a mindset change, what were some of the on-field things that were, if this is for any of you, that changed? Uh, that changed after that trip to Lincoln? Um, I think we realized we needed to play more as a team and not just individually. So I think we all stepped it up as a team and really played together. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was there a different something we all did differently? I mean, we got Gresham back too. Hello. <laughs> I mean, it was like the weekend we first started getting Gresham back for real. Um, and she's just been on a tear <laughs> since. And it's been really nice to have her, and I said this yesterday, to have her in the order behind Evelyn because Evelyn and the three and four, Kimmy and Evelyn, have had to carry that or part of the order. And with Gresham there, it takes the pressure off Evelyn. And we also have another big stick with power right there. And so today you saw it play out that way. And it's been playing out since she's been back. Um, you know, she made a commitment to our team by having surgery. She wanted to get back this year to help us. And so, she took the time off to get her arm fixed and back to us. And I know it's not feel good all the time, <laughs> but this is her senior year and she wants to give us whatever she can. And I'm really glad you have this moment. Like, Thanks. you get that moment and it never goes away. So, it's good for you. <clears throat> Thank you. It's still just a conference tournament, not you know, the postseason match or the NCAA upsets are crazy fast, but you're, you're seeing more parity. You're seeing more. I mean, last year in Lincoln, there's a lot of upsets in tournaments. I mean, do you think that softball, like some of the other women's sports, that you're going to start seeing more of these kind of upsets, more you know, parity in tournament play? Absolutely. And I think um, the amount of times we play each other, it hurts and helps us because we learn a lot about the opponent, but they learn a lot about us. And so in the moment, we just have to execute our plan more than they execute their plan because we already know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Um, I think the best thing about getting beat up in Lincoln was we knew what not to throw them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a better plan and we executed it better. Um, they fought like crazy though, you know, Nebraska, so obviously, you know, you're not gonna shut them out, but um, we were able to execute maybe one more time than they did. And so, but I do think there's a ton of parity. I really don't think, you know, with the amount of amazing hitters in the country that you're ever gonna have a pitcher just like blow through a tournament the way it used to be. I mean, are you guys seeing those players that, you know, I mean, last weekend, Wisconsin goes in and takes two from Michigan. I mean, are you guys just not as scared as the big teams as, as, as teams they used to be in the past? I mean, uh, Coach tells us this all the time. Um, I, mean, I think we get it at least once a week, is that the game doesn't know, you know, rankings. The game doesn't know stats. Like, every time you show up to the field, you know, there's an almost equal chance for either team to win. You know, like you said, it's about execution, who executes more, who executes uh, in the, at the right time. And um, we were fortunate today to execute at the right time. And give to Nebraska too; they executed some great things down the stretch. You know, that was, that's what makes extra innings awesome. Is you know, both teams are you know, in one way or another, putting runs across the board to keep it even. So it's a, it, that's a great game to play. That's a game you want to be a part of every every time you step on the field. Was this um, was this whole tournament trying to make a statement to that committee meeting to pick 64 teams too? We don't really be talking about that. Not at all. Not driving behind the scenes or just quietly. No. What are your thoughts on it now? I don't really think about it. Okay. I mean, we're going like we go out to play, and for us, it's just like the game we play, and so we can't control that stuff. Like we can't control a lot of things, but we can control how we approach the game. And like the last eleven games, we have gone after every opponent, and so that kind of thing is not for us to worry about, you know. And Oh, I haven't thought about it. I don't know you guys. <laughs> It'll be your. It it's be one of our goals. It's like one of our goals. Obviously, we've always put it out there as our goals, but it's you can't control that, so it's not worth talking about, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs>